What's up, Booty Brigade? You got Danita, and I'm here with the famous Dario that has this amazing retreat. It's called Busandari, and it is absolutely phenomenal. It is in Bali. If you have not been, this is something that you should absolutely look into. This amazing retreat that's off the side of this jungle, but also is surrounding with these crazy rice terraces. So today we're gonna go into something really special. I'm excited to see what he has for us. Something about the hips and something about the glutes because of course we love booty so let's see what he's got for us today we're going to be working on targeting the hips and the glutes now the hips are an amazing storehouse for emotion and tension and generally we find if we can open up the hips and loosen off the glutes if you're suffering from any other ailments such as you know a sore knee a headache a tension headache we find that if we can loosen off the the muscles in this area that these other ailments tend to disappear. It's also a major storage house for emotions. So just be aware that by opening up the hips, emotions may arise. And don't be scared of this, just allow them to rise. When you're in bed or sitting comfortably or relaxing, just try and process what came up for you. So to start with, we're going to be going to be targeting the hamstrings. Uh, the hamstrings are inextricably connected to the glutes. So we're going to work on that part of the body first. Some very simple poses for you. You can do these in the hotel room once you've had a long flight, especially if you're flying from the United States over to Bali. It's a long, long flight. We need to open the body again, okay? So we're going to start with a, a runner's lunge. Uh, we come onto the knees. We'll start with the right side first. Now the full expression of this pose is the splits. Now, if you're one of those lucky girls that uh, has the opening there, please feel free, but listen to your body, monitor yourself, and you move into this pose nice and slowly. Now, generally for guys, we don't have the same kind of opening as the ladies do. Don't feel bad about this. It's not only the tension in the muscles, but it could also be the compression in the bones that are restricting you. So we like to hold these poses for three to five minutes. Whilst you're holding the pose, try and shut down the eyes and work the breath into the area that you're actually feeling the tension. And by doing so, what we're doing is taking the prana, the internal energy to these areas to help heal and repair and grow. So after the three to five minutes, we can then bring the foot in and we can take it to the other side. Again, make your moves intelligently. Even though these are passive pose, poses, there is a large scope for injury here. So it's always good to have some blocks beside you to help with the stability. You can then focus on the area that you're trying to stretch. If you don't have blocks and you're in a hotel room, say, you can use a chair or use the side of the bed. So in this pose, we're targeting the hamstring here, which is connected to the lower glute muscle. But also, we're working on the front hip flexor here on the opposite side. And this is great for opening up the front body. Uh, especially for us Westerners, we like to sit in chairs a lot. And these muscles start to shrink and contract. And if we don't continuously open these muscles, over time, as we start to age, we're going to find our mobility a little bit more difficult. Back pain. Back pain, sciatica, and so on. Okay, let's move to the second pose. All right, so this one will come onto our seat. This is seated pigeon. Okay. So we'll bring the right knee over, the right ankle over. Okay, now the second pose is a seated pigeon. Now we're targeting 
the hamstring, the IT band, the lower glute and the piriformis muscle. So we rest the right ankle over the left knee and then we just shimmy the buttocks towards the left heel slightly to find some more depth in this pose. Now this range of poses we're going to take you through today will target the glutes but most importantly we're targeting the piriformis which is a small muscle below the glutes. It assists in the internal and external rotation of the leg. The piriformis can also be the cause of a sciatic pain, sciatica. Now for some of us the sciatic nerve runs over the piriformis muscle but for some of us it runs under the piriformis. Now if you're a professional sitter or work in a sitting position most of your working day this muscle starts to contract and becomes brittle and starts to shrink and when this happens it starts to contract around the piriformis sorry around the sciatic nerve and therefore we have sciatica so these exercises are great to release this muscle and from here after three to five minutes of holding we're going to change sides Whilst you're holding these poses, work the breath. Close your eyes. Turn it into a working meditation. Allow everything to fall away from your mind and just focus on the body, reconnecting with yourself. Okay, let's move into pose number three. Okay, the third pose targeting the hamstrings is uh, known as thread the needle. So we come onto our back. Now assist yourself as you come down to the ground. Be gentle with your body. The knees are high. We're going to take the right ankle over the left knee here. Now we're going to bring the chin to the chest. When we bring the chin to the chest, we engage the core muscles. So we're going to lift that left knee up and then thread the right hand through the eye of the needle bring the left hand around interlace the fingers and then we're going to slowly carefully take the head and shoulders back to the mat as we pull the knee in now once we're here focus on your body notice the tension and relax everything as humans we tend to hold on to things including tension and discomfort. For some reason, we like to do this. Now in these poses, we don't want to be comfortable. If you're comfortable, then you're not deep enough in the pose and you're making absolutely no difference to your body. So we find our edge. By finding our edge, I mean we find the point where it's starting to hurt and then we just back it off that little bit and then that's your edge. This will make the difference to your body. Now in this pose you'll feel a beautiful stretch coming from the hamstring, the IT band working its way into the piriformis and the glute, the lower glute. Now after 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so the muscles in this area will start to release and then you tend to pull the, the knee in a little bit closer to get some more depth. But always monitor yourself. Yes, it's a passive pose, but as I said, there's lots of scope for deep injury. Close the eyes, breathe into the area, relax. Scan the body for holding. Check that your glutes are loose and free. Relax your shoulders. And on the odd occasion, maybe even try to bring a little smile to yourself. And release, and we take it to the other side. Chin to chest. 
Thread the left hand through the eye of the needle. Interlace the fingers around the right knee, shoulders and head back to the mat and feel this beautiful stretch occur. Now these poses are perfect if you sit in a chair most of your working day or had a long flight. We need to open the body. Funnily enough, we need to stress the body to open the body to make it healthy. And just like we create that synapses in the brain by doing crosswords or stimulating work, keeping the brain active and healthy, we need to apply the same to the body itself. But listen to your body. Be, a, be intelligent about what you do with your body. And release. Okay. So now we're going to move a little bit deeper into the hip region with half pigeon pose. So we're going to come into down dog. This is always a nice pose to, to start pigeon in. And you extend the right leg out behind you. And as we exhale, bring the knee to the chest. We take the left ankle over, sorry, the right ankle over to the left side of the mat, the right knee to the right side. Creep back the left toes. Find some depth in the hips here. Now to start with, it's always nice to sit upright to get a feel. We're always looking for the squareness in the hips here. Now, if you notice my knee here, my leg, my lower leg, it is not parallel to the front of the mat. And you may have heard your, your teachers or instructors guiding you to bring it to the front of the mat. Not so. All our bones are different. Everybody's body is different. Now the restriction here for me is not tension, it is not muscular, it is bone. It is the shapes of my bones that are restricting me and bringing my shin parallel to the front of the mat. And it makes absolutely no difference to the pose whether your shin is parallel to the front or not. So don't be hard on yourself, you may never get there. So there should be no discomfort in the knee or the ankle at all of the right leg. We make some micro moves with the hips, gentle micro rolls side to side and just find the squareness. Try and find your center line here. We take an inhale, we lengthen, lengthen the spine, we lead with the chest, walk the hands forward and we come down into either sleeping swan or sleeping pigeon and from here we can bring the forehead to the floor. Now once we're here, find your breath, stay out of your head. So we're looking for the squareness of the hips here. So I'm just going to roll Danita's hips a little bit to the left. I'm going to bring the left hip down. We're going to take this right shoulder up and bring this left shoulder down slightly. So we're always looking for a nice straight spine in our poses. The neck is an extension of the spine, so we don't want the head off to either side. And we just bring the hips here. Now she has a nice form here, some nice length in the leg. She's got a beautiful stretch coming through here now. We're opening up the hips. We're targeting the three glute muscles but we're also targeting this pesky little piriformis, which is deep in here. Stay with the breath. Be grateful that you're in this pose. Now, if anything arises while you're holding these poses, just let it wash over you. Don't hold on to anything here and now. You're working your mind and your body and that's the most important thing right now. Later, 
when you're home relaxing and that thought reoccurs, process it then if you wish. Okay, we're going to raise the head now, walk the hands in, bring yourself to upright, find your center line with your hips, your spine. Now we're going to take this pose a little bit deeper now. So what we're going to do is walk the hands over to the right. We're going to lengthen the spine, with the breath, and as we exhale, lead with the chest, come down onto the forearms. Now this might be as deep as you go, that's perfectly fine. Nobody is judging you, don't be hard on yourself. If you can come all the way down, forehead to the mat, beautiful. Now we're going to roll the right butt cheek slightly towards the floor. This is going to intensify this pose. And the sensation here is like the head of the femur bone pushing out through the glute muscles. It's quite intense, it's a deep opening, very beneficial. Always working with the breath. Now these poses don't take up a lot of space. You only need the size of a yoga mat, so you can do them in your hotel room. You can even do them in your lunch workroom. Do them under your desk at work. People will be impressed. And as we lift the head, coming back to center, we dig the left toes in, come onto the hands, we push back up into our down dog. Make some moves with that right leg. When we hold a pose for three to five minutes, we get a stagnation of prana and blood in that area. So we want to get the prana and the blood moving in those areas again. So you can make any moves you like that relieve this stagnation. So we take, bring the right foot to the center line as we move to the left. Take the left leg out behind you as you exhale, bring the knee to the chest, bring the left ankle to the right side of the mat, slide back the right toes, find some length here, keep the body upright. Now I always encourage people in my classes to close their eyes to block out any other external stimulation so that they can really go inside and feel what's happening to them. The mind and the body will connect. And the body of the language and the mind will start to communicate. Listen to your gut feeling. Coming down onto the hands or the forearms. You can use a bolster here if you need one. Whatever it takes. Now making some micro moves with the hips once again. If you roll your hips five millimeters, one centimeter to either side, it's going to change your pose. It's going to change the intensity and it's going to change the angle of attack for the glute area. Okay, let's see if we can just bring this knee out slightly. Yeah, okay, that's going to help square your hips a little bit more. Okay, we take this shoulder up here, drop this one a little. Okay, that's great. Nice long spine. Neck is in line with the spine. Nice center line here. Perfect pose. Breathe into it. Enjoy the sensation. Listen to your body. And we raise the head, come onto the hands, square your hips, find the length here in the spine. And we're going to walk the hands over to the left now. 
And then we lead with the chest as we drape the upper body over the left quad, coming down to your degree. Breathe into the pose. The head back into down dog. Dig the right toes in, push up, make your moves. And then we'll come down to the knees, roll onto one hip, we come onto our back again. Let's touch the heels with our fingertips. The knees, the feet are at hip whip, and we take the right ankle over the left knee. Take the left hand, reach for the right ankle, and from here we're going to roll onto the left side of the body. And lift the head, reach with the right hand for the left ankle, and then slowly, monitoring yourself, take the head and shoulders back to the mat. Now we pull both heels close to our center line or close to the pelvis as possible and we push this upper knee, the right knee, away from the body. We hold this pose three to five minutes, longer if you wish or you have the time. Close down the eyes, find the breath, breathe into the tension, working with the body. Now, if you have a busy lifestyle like most of us do, it's very hard for us to find the calm. We're all geared up to go, 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 every day, every minute of the day. So this is a perfect opportunity to let go and just focus on yourself. Focusing on yourself for an hour a day is not being selfish or self-centered. If anything, it is absolutely necessary. Because when you are at your best, you have your best to offer others, your family, friends, the community. And gently release, roll onto your back. Just extend the legs for a moment. We have a build up of chi or prana and blood here in this hip region. So we just come onto the back. Now this is known as the rebound effect. This is when all the muscles, the ligaments, tendons are rebounding back to their original position with a new blood flow of fresh nutrients. So we just take a couple of moments here and we continue to breathe and focus on this area. We're still working with the body. Just remember, this is happening to you. It's not somebody else's body. And we raise the knees again. Heels at hip width. Just able to touch the heels with the middle finger. Left knee top of the right knee, right hand to the left ankle and we roll over to the right side of the body, reaching for the left ankle, pull them in close, and we just want to bring this knee away from the body, beautiful, we've got nice flat shoulders, on the floor, just relax. The neck is perfectly in line with the spine. We've got beautiful alignment here. And when we come into a pose, and it's a new stretch, the body will tend to tense up. It is protecting itself. So a good way to alleviate this is to actually take a big inhale 
And as you exhale, make that exhale like a big sigh. When we sigh, we relax and just allow yourself to dissolve in the mat. Breathing through the pose. Just being grateful for your breath. The release, release the heels. Extend the legs along the mat. Make any feel good moves you need to release that rebound effect. Keep the focus here. Now for the final pose, it's kind of restorative, but we're, we're still opening the hips. Come onto our back, we bring the knees high, bring the inner blades of the feet together. This is called reclining cobbler's pose. Now from here we just allow the knees to fall out to the sides, the soles of the feet come together. Maybe bring the heels in a little bit closer depending on you, how intense you want the pose. Bring the head to the mat. Now just making sure that your neck is a in line with the spine. Nice alignment here. And from here you can bring one hand, the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly. Breathe away, go inside, notice what's happening to you. And just relax. To focus on your butt, on your legs. And notice if you're holding tension in these muscles. We hold a lot of tension without even recognizing we're holding it. So take a moment, scan the body, particularly in the area we're working in, and then let go. If you're holding, the body can't open to its full potential. And therefore you're not getting all the benefits of these poses. And as we said, these poses are great if you've been traveling in the car or the aeroplane for long periods of time, sitting in a chair at a desk for long periods of time. If you're feeling some kind of ailment, you're not feeling 100%, open the hips, stretch the glutes, and generally you will find the release. Now you can do all of these exercises or these asanas within 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It will make a difference to your day. It will make a difference to your life. Now bring the hands to the outsides of the knees. Then we're gonna bring the knees in together and we don't want to use the muscles of the legs. We want to use the hands. And then we can roll over onto the right side of the body. Find a fetal position. I always encourage my students to bring a smile to their face in this pose and the smile is ever so powerful releasing the endorphins into the body mixing with the prana or the chi we have released creating a beautiful cocktail. It's a resting pose. You can stay here as long as you like, maybe even fall asleep. And when you're ready, you can gently make your way up to a sitting position. And there are our tips on opening up the hips and the glutes for today. We hope you find some benefit from it. And if you're ever over in Bali, come over and visit us at Basundari. And if you like what you've seen here today, please subscribe to our social channels and uh, we will deliver much more content for you.